What's up, everybody? Um, thought I'd uh, give y'all uh, younger drivers some advice out here. Um, some of y'all, and I was young too, and I was new at the, the the trucking industry at one time, so I know what it's about. Okay, can't pull a fast one on me, but uh, <clears throat> these truck stops are great for taking showers for getting motion lotion and that's about it man um, and they're good for you know places to park while you're in route but uh, I will say that you will make more money out here if you stay away from the truck stops and let, let me give you an example when you take your 10 hour break try to take it either at the shipper or receiver if they allow it all right give you an example here i'm at home depot i deliver here in about 30 minutes i got here i got a 10 o'clock appointment i got here about 11 30 last night okay got my 10 hour break here that means when i start i'll have a fresh clock it makes yourself available for the rest of the day you know you make more money you'll be you look good for your dispatcher and um, you get home earlier really you know if you're like me you're you know it's better for customer service so and that's what we're about out here is customer service so there you go man so if you have the option to spend the night at the shipper receiver do it and um, I do it all the time it's always you know I know see that I deliver to these all the time Home Depot's and Lowe's but if you have to you know if you you know like regular OTR or whatever you are um, call the shipper receiver and ask them most of the time if they don't allow it most of the time they will tell you where they send guys where the closest is so thought I'd let y'all know that give y'all a little advice out here because I see a lot of drivers always glamorizing truck stops you know and some of them are nice you know Iowa 80 comes you know to a nice example you know everyone likes stopping there but um, but when you got a shipper a receiver that allows parking take advantage of it get there take your 10 hour break before you deliver or pick up you know because may it's it's better in the long run so and stay out of the truck stops as much as you can you end up spending more money than what it is you know, you know. and um, we'll fight truck stops and when you do have to t stop at a truck stop um, obviously big companies you know only get fuel at the big truck stops but when you have a chance uh, to stop at say um, see some of these mom and pop truck stops for a 10 hour break or, or whatever you need to do eat sit down and eat supper or something take it at, at a mom and pop truck stop take advantage of them because they're a dying breed and they're because of these big companies that like to get fuel at the cheaper places you know they're just trying to save money who can blame them but you have the power to help some of these mom paws stay in business so take that advice and uh, shove it in that right there 73